Welcome to the third part on our paranormal series. Today we are at Irwood Hall in this fantastic Goit Valley. Irwood Hall has a very special story connected to me. My dad told me when I was very young that one day him and I think he said two of his sisters were out for a walk at Irwood. While heading up the track just before turning into the entrance of the hall they heard behind them the sound of a horse and cart approaching. It sounded so clear that they moved to the side of the track to let the cart pass. To their amazement and shock nothing was behind them. It is a story that has stuck with me. He also mentioned it to my wife, she recalls. Needless to say, over the years, I have told the story to my own children when we walked here, as they were growing up. I always thought my dad was just trying to tell a ghost story to activate my imagination as a child. Until now. Irwood Hall is now a ruin. It was built in the 1840s by Samuel Grimshaw II and was once a spectacular country home. Irwood Hall survived 100 years and was finally demolished in 1934. I would also just like to add that plenty of investigations, paranormal, have been carried out at Irwood Hall. It has been advised that it is maybe unwise to camp out overnight at Irwood Hall because there is also the ghost of a burglar was shot dead by the gamekeeper inside the hall in 1847, still said to be present. Well, what's down there then? I haven't got the clue. But as Arab said, it is um, a very highly spiritual place. Who knows? P.M. Harrop, who assisted us on our previous Arbolo Paranormal vid, once took part in an investigation on Irwood Hall, describing it as a place of intense spiritual activity. The team took film footage and captured various orbs and in a frame-by-frame -frame study, they did not believe them to be insects or dust that they captured. Is it a magnetic energy dress? Yeah. That's what it feels, feels like. like. It feels like there's something pulling it. While looking into a report for this video, I read an account from a lady who was also walking in the vicinity witnessed what she describes as suddenly appearing in front of her was a horse and cart. She saw three ladies upon the cart dressed in 19th century clothing and also something else in the cart which she could not make out clearly but lay flat. Each side of the horse were two men holding the reins and bridle. The cart was heading towards a graveyard above Irwood Hall. As suddenly as the apparition appeared, it vanished. A period only 10 seconds she recalls. The lady telling the report had the article published in 2012. My dad told me his story maybe in the middle to the late 70s. Sadly my dad passed away in 2000. The lady's report was only told in 2012. Two very similar stories which actually sent a shiver down my spine especially with a connection to my dad. Your coincidence or overactive imagination? Again, you be the judge. The 
family of the Grimshaws are buried in the graveyard above Irwood, a short distance away. I, along with all my family, have always enjoyed Goit Valley. It is a beautiful place, so please enjoy the landscape we show in the video. Again, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.